All right, all right, folks. So in this video here, we are starting our My First Car. As you can see on the screen here, I've got my drawing on the right-hand side of the screen. I've got Fusion 360 open on the left, which is the software we're using to draw the MFC, or the My First Car, whichever you want to call it. Um, you can see there, that's basically what we're going to end up at the end of this series of videos. Um, this first video, we're going to be focusing on the first task, the body of the My First Car. Um, we'll move on from there in uh, later videos. So to start with, I'm just going to start running through some important points uh, in using Fusion 360 for this. Uh, one of those first points is how we go about making our file um, and where to start. So you can see on the left here I've got a, a new um, Autodesk Fusion 360 file here for the model that I'll be working on. Um, and at the moment I'm just looking at the top front right corner of what could be in this space, just like I was on that previous drawing there, um, or previous model there. And one of the first things I want to talk to you about is how we go about organizing the files for the My First Car. So in the data panel on the left here, we want to start with a new project. So you're going to select the new project button and create a project that says MFC um, dash your name. So in my case, we've got Mr. Ellis in there. So I'm just going to double click on my project there, if it wants to let me. It's not quite working for me then. There we go. So you can see in there, I've got the first one I've drawn there. And one of the first things I'd like to do once you've started your project is, under the people, add me as a person to yours, and that's my email address just there. So you can just follow that straight and put that into yours. So I'm just going to close off the data panel there. And we're going to start going ahead and starting to draw the draw the body. So we'll just skip forward to the first drawing, and you can see here this drawing here is that very first sketch that we're going to need to come up with um, before we make anything 3D. So I'm going to start by creating a new sketch, and I'm going to select my YZ plane, which is this one here. And you can see there I've got my origin point in the center there, um, and I'm going to want to move that origin point off to the top right here. Um, and this will become apparent why very soon, because if we look at the sketch here, we've got the origin point up in the top right here, and everything's kind of spaced out from that. Um, and you can see the general shape of the body of the car here. So to start off with looking at this body here, I've got two straight lines, two arcs um, uh, at the back end at the front, um, and a bunch of different dimensions on all those there. So I'm going to start with my two lines. I'm going to select my line tool. And at this point, I'm just putting in two lines. doesn't really have to be perfect as to their um, length yet, but you can see I can pretty easily you know, line them pretty up pretty close to each other. Uh, Fusion 360 helps me do that quite easily. You can see there I've got a couple of constraints on those already. I've got a horizontal on each of those two lines. Next thing I'm going to do is start adding in my arcs there. So selecting the line tool, I'm going to click and drag out from each of those ends. All right, so click and drag as a reminder there. I'm going to join my two arcs up together at the front here. I'm going to do the same thing at the back. You can see my back one looks a bit short compared to the sketch over here, but we'll fix that up very soon. So draw my next line there. There we go. So you can see I've got the basic shape of my my first car there, the body of it anyway, um, and Next thing I want to start doing here is start adding in some dimensions and some constraints. As you can see, because I use that click and drag with the line tool, I've already got the tangent constraints for my arcs um, joining up to my lines. So let's go into the dimension tool. First dimension I'm going to add on this sketch is from the very front end of the car to the origin point there. And I need this dimension to be 200 millimeters. So I'll type that one in, you can see it's kind of moved everything off to one side, but we'll fix that soon enough. The next one I'm going to do is for the base of the car, which is 29 millimeters down from the origin point. So selecting it there, and selecting the origin point, and I'll type in my 29. And that shifted some things down a little bit. Uh, the next I'll add in is my 21 millimeters between the base and the top of the car. So between these two here. 21, moves it up a little bit like that. Just move that dimension down a little bit so we can see nicely. 
And I'm going to start adding in the lengths between these points here. So 45, 75, and 80. So clicking at the very end here. And I'm going to click at the end of that base line. See that if I hover over it, I get that little dot. And this one here is 45 millimeters. All right, that's moved some things in a little bit. Next, I'll do the 75, which is from this point here to this point here. Type in my 75. And this arc here has become very small. We'll fix that right now. I'm going to make that dimension there 80 millimeters. And that'll bring it all the way back to where our origin point is. So you can see things are looking a little bit closer to what they are on this um, sketch over here, but we're still not quite right. And that's because this line at the top here has become too long and things like that. So rather than add dimensions to all of these lines up here, I'm actually going to go ahead and use um, some constraints now. So I'm going to start with this point here at the left-hand end of my 75mm line. And I'm going to select the same point on the top line. I'm going to right-click and make them a horizontal or vertical. In this case, they'll be vertically constrained. I'm going to do the same to the other end. So clicking once and twice to get the end of the other one. Right-clicking and vertical constraint. And we're starting to look a lot better now. We're quite accurate as far as these two lines here. They're spot on and you can see they've gone black to show that they are now fully constrained. Now we need to do the same for the front and back of the car. So in order to do this, it's a pretty simple uh, method in this case. And it's simply about making these two points um, in coincidence or vertical or horizontally constrained to each other. So we'll select one, hold control, select the other, right click and horizontally constrain them. And right now we're pretty much spot on. One thing that I can tell you is I can move these up and down, or I should be able to move these about a little bit. And not moving actually that easily at all, but we're still not fully constrained because they are still blue. So the very last thing we need to do here is just to mention one of those points from the base of the car, and we need to be halfway up the vehicle, which in this case is half of 21 or 10.5 millimeters. And there we go. Now everything is fully constrained. You can see that there. So now that we have everything fully constrained, we can do the last step, which is just shown here on the drawing, extrude 32.5 millimeters. So we're going to click the extrude tool on the create palette, select the object and type in 32.5 and hit enter. And there we go. We have the very first extrusion there, and it looks just like the one on the drawing. All right, so you'll need to move on to the next video now. Thanks for watching this one.